Uh, well, Kelly, I'm so excited to have you with me today, and we're just getting together to talk a little bit about your business and our journey working together and really how things have shifted for you, because I know it's super helpful for other people to get to hear a bit about that. So what I would love for you to do is just start by telling us a little bit about you and your business. Okay. Well, yeah. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here too. Yeah. Um, so my name is Kelly Lawton. I have been a PA for just about 10 years now um, and have always had an interest in my own health and pretty much since I was young. Um, and then as much as I enjoyed some of the some of the aspects of being a PA, I felt like there was a time crunch um, with my patients and an insurance crunch with my patients and really wanted more. And I've been pondering health coaching for probably several years um, and never just quite knew how to get myself started or feel confident enough to get myself started until I came across um, you and your videos and your inspiration. And awesome. So that's kind of what um, just prompted me to make the decision. And I said, what do I, what do I have to lose? This has been something I've been thinking about. Yeah. Um, and so I signed up for your program um, awesome. and it's been great. Yeah. And I know a lot of health practitioners are feeling the same way, just yeah. like wanting, yeah, you know, so much of healthcare is dictated by insurance and it's challenging because you can't. It really is yeah, you can't really show up and, and do what you really want to do, especially when you get more um, kind of going down the path of holistic health and nutrition and stuff. Like there's just not really the space for that in medicine as it's. Yeah. Up. I found there wasn't a lot of time, you know, a 15 minute appointment with maybe a one month follow-up. Um, very few patients wanted to come back weekly. And I, it just wasn't enough accountability to see and work alongside somebody to make any changes in the, like the usual healthcare system. So yeah. um, I thought that health coaching would be a better avenue for that. And it turns out it has been. So awesome. Thank you. Yeah. So the biggest thing for you, you said you just kind of, it was something you were thinking about for a while, but you just like knew nothing about how to get started. It was kind of like where you were at when you found me. Yes, I really really didn't know. And I had looked back at a journal and I had written something about this about three years ago. And when I said, wow, it's been three years and you've done nothing. I, <laughs> that's kind of what I was like, um, yeah, I should probably do something. So uh -huh. yeah. And I hadn't really, I, I would have not known how to get started. I really wouldn't have. It's not social media is my thing. Um, yeah. computers aren't my thing. So, you know, I mean, I know I have a good local crowd, but um, I needed more than that. And also how to like project to them. And you gave me the confidence to do that, but also just like, okay, this week, this is what you're going to do. And you're just going to move forward and post it to, you know, these individuals. And, and it, it was just like having the schedule was very helpful to say, like, just do this this week and, and things will unfold. And they did. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so tell, tell us all a little bit about just what you have accomplished through the time we're working together and a little bit about, you know, where you're at right now with the business. Sure. So I, um, since we started, I have reached out to pretty much most of my warm market, like in my area. And I've also created a Facebook page to promote to people who are, you know, not my war market and farther distance wise. Um, and I've also signed six clients in total in less Amazing. than, I mean, less than six months. Yeah. Um, it happened very fast. Yeah. Um, and they've all said to me that they've enjoyed the program. I've gotten some great testimonials from them. So that was really kind of, you know, I don't know, just enlightening and showing me that there was actually a need for it and a want for it. Um, yeah. I focused my business on um, healthcare professionals hoping to lose weight and get healthier. Okay. Um, so I was approaching other healthcare professionals, whether that be um, psychologists or other PAs or other nurses, um, 
really throughout. Um, and I've had about a mix. So some of the clients yeah. in my war market are not in healthcare. And, you know, I, I also like just busy working individuals looking for assistance. Um, and then some of them have been healthcare professionals. So I've had about 50, 50, I would say. Awesome. Awesome. Just out of curiosity, is there, do you enjoy working with one more than the other, or did you enjoy both? Was it? It's funny you say that. Um, I've really enjoyed working with all of my clients. Like yeah. it, some of them took a little learning curve for me to get to know how to work with them. Um, but I've really enjoyed working with other healthcare professionals. And I didn't know that until I did it, but um, yeah. they seem, I seem to click with them or maybe we just have a very similar understanding of what the healthcare profession is lacking. And so yeah. maybe that has been helpful. Um, yeah. So, yeah, and I didn't know that, right, starting out, and I'm not opposed to working with anybody. I just actually had another person reach out to me saying, hey, I know you like like to treat healthcare professionals, but would you be interested in working with me? And she's not a healthcare professional. And I said, of course, like, you know, I'm not just, it's not concrete, and I know her yeah. locally. Um, so, yeah, but, but it's, been, it's, been, it's been good both ways, but I think I just have a better understanding working with a healthcare professional. Totally, totally. For a lot of us, like our ideal client ends up being someone who is a version of us, you know, because yeah. we like understand them. We understand what they've gone through or what they're going through. And um, it's just like really easy to speak to that person and, and be able to help them. Um, and at the same time, you don't necessarily have to pigeonhole yourself so that you can only work with that person. And I think that's something that people get really confused about with ideal client. They're like, I can only work with this person. And it's no, like right. maybe that's your ideal client, mostly who you're speaking to. But if other people come to you, especially in your warm market, because in your warm market, people already know, like, and trust you. So it's, it's can be easier to get clients without having that really specific ideal client. Um, but of course you can work with people outside of your, your ideal client, And then you can decide, you know, as you go, if you do want to only work with that really specific right. ideal client or not. So. Yeah. Um, I've probably reached out most people in my war market. Um, I actually have a PA who I worked with who was not in my war market, but everybody else or mostly has been, um, and it's been nice. I actually now, I'm just not a big, it's, it's tough for me in social media. And I think it's the time. It's not that I don't want to get it going. And I have the Facebook page and it has been helpful. Um, yeah. But it's tough to get on a schedule, like posting frequently and also the different avenues, right? There's, there's now Instagram, there's YouTube, there's TikTok, there's, I mean, there's everything. And I, yeah. my brain is like, what? So yeah. for me, I think that can come in time. And I've just told myself, I don't need to do all that right now. Like I can just start with what's going on and then as time allows, let that flow. Um, so that's kind of what I've settled on. That's perfect. And I like to say, it's good to take the path of least resistance when it comes to starting your business. <laughs> and a lot of times what we do is we're like, oh my gosh, I have to do it the certain way. Or like, I have to use Facebook or I have to use Instagram or whatever it is. And truthfully, if you tap into kind of your intuition and the people you already know in your community and stuff, like your business can grow really beautifully organically. And for some of us, like we have that community and some of us, we don't. Um, but when you do like not using that is silly because it can be a really great way to get clients. Yeah. Back. And the thing is like the people you're working with, it's going to ripple out to more people. Like they have friends, they have family, like they can refer other people to you, like just more people knowing what you're up to in the community, like that can be awesome. And so when you can let go of this, like I have to build my business a certain way, like sometimes really beautiful things happen that are not exactly how you expected. So yeah, I now actually have a local physical therapist um, referring my business. Awesome. So that will be other anybody it won't necessarily be obviously healthcare professionals, um, but also who works in their practice as a physical therapist will also be aware 
Um, and I'm actually hosting a workshop soon at a new health center too. So that will be exciting, exciting. and new. That is a little bit different. Um, lots of different populations there. So one workshop will be for young high school athletes, and then another one will be for older, you know, well, any, any age, 30 to 70, right? That are just looking for healthier living. So awesome. um, yeah, there's been a lot of like warm market changes that have just kind of happened. So yeah. And that's not even your warm market anymore. So once you get away yeah. from the people you don't know, that's a new market. So it's happening. Yes. So it's yeah. happening <laughs> and it's happening yeah. without you having to be on social media. <laughs> it is. Yes. Uh-huh. It Because the Facebook page exists, but I, I don't post regularly. Yeah. Um, I use it and I'm happy to have it. I also did create a website. I just had a friend that was able to help me um, just again to give out, but, and for places like that, it's helpful. Um, but I don't use either of them very much. I like to hear that because I feel like people <laughs> get so stuck and they're like, I have to have all these things and I have to do it this way. And when you right. that, like that's, because quite frankly, referrals is the best way to get clients possible because you're, someone that that person trusts is, is giving them your name, which is like, right. Then they already trust you. Right. So. When yeah. I that, mean, it's been, I definitely have like some, it's been a little nerve wracking here and there. Like, am I doing this? But it's all exciting. Like I never have a meeting and say, Oh, I wish I you know could do that. So I just listened to what you told me <laughs> and I did it. <laughs> awesome. I love it. So have you seen any other like just through the work we've done and kind of you taking these steps towards your business and something obviously you've been wanting to do for you said three plus years, have you seen any other like changes in your life as far as like actually going through and doing this changes either in your life and kind of what's going on or just kind of how you're feeling about things? Um, I'm really excited to have my own business. So I guess there's a sense of excitement and accomplishment that sometimes I go to bed at night thinking about, Yeah. <laughs> but it's not like I, I love being a physician assistant and I'm happy to say that I'm fortunate to have a good position in that, awesome. but there is still, that field is still not completely autonomous. And I think for myself, I know I'm capable of being my own boss and running a business and probably yeah. always have felt capable, did not want the pull and strain of being a physician itself, Yeah, which is what, what led me to that path initially, but then found myself kind of lack, like not fulfilling all of my dreams by doing that. So this kind of bridges that gap. Like I am able to work my own hours and still be home with my children um, and be able to do some of this remote as opposed to being in an office or in a hospital. Um, and having the confidence to say, this is mine. Like I own this um, mm -hmm. and I am feeling accomplished. So I think that's what, I think that's what I've learned. Um, Cause I asked myself like, why did I become a PA? Right. A lot of it was like, I had a lot of interest, but wanted some like, not quite the, all the responsibility of being a physician and working more than I could be with my children. Um, no. But then I've also found like, it's not quite the autonomy that I wanted. So this is the gap. Yeah. Yeah. So kind of being able to help people on that level that you're on my own terms. Yeah. yeah. And, and not have to follow the guidance of insurance. Right. And yeah. Um, yeah, give them the help that they really are lacking because I've, after 10 years of working, you can kind of see what, what's needed. Yeah. Yeah. And that's awesome. And I think it's also good to know that like when you start a business, it, it can look like however you want it to look and it can fit into your life, how you want it to fit. And so some people do it because they want to keep doing what they're doing, but also they feel like something's maybe missing and they want to have this other piece. Some people decide they want to do just their business full time. And you also don't need to make that decision right away. It could always just be like, yeah, go with it and you see how things go and you decide whatever. <laughs> yeah. So I think, right. Always in my head, it's what will change in the future. And I, I don't think I know that right now. Um, yeah. I do see myself probably working fewer hours at some point as a PA and running more of the business. I just, um, for me right now, it's just, I'm in this like 
limbo and seeing where things go, um, but definitely sure. possible. Like if I, yeah, I mean, I, pr I pretty much feel like the business is getting pretty well established that tomorrow, if I wanted to make a change, I could. Yeah, that's awesome. It's a good spot to be in. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. is. So if you had, do you have any words of wisdom that you would have for anyone who maybe is in your position and maybe is another medical provider and our healthcare provider and has been, you know, kind of feeling like something's missing, thinking about health coaching, but they're like, I'm not sure, should I really do that? Like, do you have any words of wisdom? <laughs> um, and as far as like working with me and getting support. Yes, yes. Um, so I think that if they've contemplated it as such as I have, or maybe they're even beyond and have already attempted, um, I think they should definitely dive in and keep going because I think there is a real need for it. I see some of medicine potentially switching more to health coaching in the future. Yeah. Um, and maybe we don't see that right now, but I do think that we're going to see this going forward. Um, so I think there's definitely space for it. If you're about the space aspect, don't be. Um, and as far as working with you, it's been great. Like I, I have all my questions have been answered, even when I'm like hemming and hawing, like the weekly meetings were easy to like, you know, ask my questions also have like other people to run the ideas off of who a few, I think I will probably stay in touch with. Like I, it's been nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, and it was an easy, an easy program. Like I love the modules. Um, I might even have a few that I still need to watch, <laughs> but okay, um, you can watch them whenever yeah. you want. <laughs> but yeah, it's been really, it's been really great. Like I have nothing, nothing bad to say whatsoever. And I would do it again. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you for that. And for sharing your experience. Cause I know everyone will find it super helpful. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm thrilled to be I can't believe this much time has gone by already. I'm like six months. Like, how did yeah. that go? But well, and you're just getting started. I mean, think about what's possible in a yeah. year, two years, five years, 10 years, right? Yeah, that's, I know my mind hasn't even like gone there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I mean, it's been amazing working together. I love seeing all that you've done and I'm super excited to see where you take things from here. Thank you. Yes. I will definitely stay in touch. I'll keep you updated. I'm sure health questions going forward like hey <laughs> awesome I'm always here for the questions so uh thank you so much Kelly I really appreciate it thank you yeah